New tonight, another local water company is asking customers, many of you, to do what you can to cut back. And Channel 3 Hartford Bureau Chief Agalal tells us how you can help. Despite some rain over the last week, Connecticut still remains in drought status, and that's why Connecticut Water is asking its customers to help conserve water. We're seeing a precipitation about five inches below normal on average, some areas more than other. And that's creating an issue for water supply. We want to make sure that we maintain adequate water supplies for the essential purposes that customers rely on us for, which is water for cooking, drinking, every, basically everything that supports public health. Connecticut Water services about 350,000 people and businesses within the state. The water supply company is asking people to consider the following measures to help conserve water. Stop lawn watering, cover swimming pools to reduce water loss to evaporation, clean sidewalks or walkways with a broom instead of a hose, and check toilets and indoor and outdoor faucets for leaks. What we're asking our customers really to do is to avoid outdoor watering, especially lawn watering and irrigation. That is a big use of water in the summertime. Uh, at this point of the year, it's okay for lawns to go brown. They will come back when the rain returns. Connecticut Water Services, 60 towns across the state. We do have some specific targets, some goal reduction targets in the Connecticut shoreline area. In the area between Guilford and Old Saybrook, we have our shoreline system, which there are a lot of seasonal homes, and we've seen some very high demand there. Niley, who's just 10 years old, says she'll be doing her part to cut back on water usage and help the environment. I think I would like um, use like a little less water because we also live here and it's like good for us and if we also don't take care of it, um, the earth, it's not taking care of like us either. And for a full list of ideas on how you can conserve water, just head to our Channel 3 app. Reporting in Manchester, Aegelel, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.